You're watching the new news hour on Global Calgary. Look at this. This is a hand that, like no other, and we are going to introduce you to the teenager who invented this and won a big contest by doing it. The winner of the next Einstein contest presented by the Canadian Friends of Hebrew University, 13-year-old Marin Schultz from Lethbridge, recognized for this. This is a world-changing design of inexpensive 3D printed prosthetic hands. Welcome, Marin. Are you going to get this going for us and show us how yes. to do it? Okay, give us a little bit of an example of exactly what it can do, and then we'll talk about what got you to this point, because this is really a culmination of a few years. Okay, give her a shot. Oh. And you're doing this by moving your head? Right, so this is controlled by uh, breath and by head tilt. So when I tilt my head, it turns the wrist, and when I suck on the straw, it's measured by a sensor, and it closes the hand. Okay, so you're about 100 steps ahead of me in, how, in, in this, but let's go back a little bit. You've always been that kid that was interested in inventions and the science yes. aspect. So uh, my first major science project was um, called Roaches to Robots. So I compared the behavior of the real hissing cockroach to Hexbug Nanos. And then after that, I built a uh, voice-controlled robotic rover. So you would speak into a handheld device, and the rover would respond. So if I said forward, the rover would move forward or left and right, and depending on what I said. And then. <coughs> I want to go the next step, though, serve the more, um, the more hands-free a control system of robotics could be. So uh, my next project for the next science fair was a EEG-controlled robotic hand. So you'd put on this toy uh, headset that I hacked from a toy, and uh, the more you concentrated, the more the hand would close. And that was an inspiration moment for you because... Right. So. A uh, one-handed boy came to uh, my science fair station and I let him try on the headset and he was able to close the hand with concentration. And he got really excited and he was, Dad, I can close the hand! And this was a very special and amazing moment for me, as you can imagine, because I suddenly realized that my inventions could have impact on helping people uh, all over the world. Absolutely, and you're going to get the chance to take this invention as far as you can with the prizes that you won. Tell us right. about the prizes. So um, I won uh, $10,000 from uh, Canadian Friends of Hebrew University and the next Einstein, and I'm very honored and blessed to have that because most of it will go to helping me uh, patent this. And so take it to the next step so it right. can help around the world. Right. And the other prize is uh, it's a fellowship to uh, Ryerson Digital Media Zone. So there they'll help me develop my business and make connections so I can further develop this into a more sturdy and robust version. So you're 14 years old, you're going into grade nine, mm -hmm. you're, you're doing this stuff, and you're also trying to be a kid. Right, yeah, just leading a normal life. Leading a normal life, but inventing robotic hands yes. that can do things. <laughs> yes. So really not so much normal. I guess. Uh, you know, what else do you enjoy doing? Do you play baseball? Do you like sports? Do you do music? Uh, oh, yes, I listen to music constantly. I also love to build models. I, I'm always building models or building something, like maybe or a Or robotic hands. Or robotic Pro hands. Prosthetic hands. <laughs> okay, let's see one more time the demonstration All if right. we can. This is Marin Schultz, and this is the winner of this huge honor. So he will now be able to take this invention that he has come up with, a compilation of a few years of building on his invention, and take that to the next level. Awesome, good luck to you. Can't Thanks. wait to see what you come up with in the future. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you.